हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी इंदौर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोनोफेजिक लिक्विड डोजेस फॉर्म इन विच लिक्विड टू बी इंस्टिल्ड इनटू बॉडी कैविटी दैट आर ईयर ड्रॉप्स नेजल ड्रॉप एंड नेजल स्प्रे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट now the first of all we will discuss ear drops so ear drops are the solution used for installation into ear or ear cavity so ear drops are the solution of drops that are installed into the ear with a dropper the solution is generally prepared in water glycerin propylene glycol or alcohol however vehicle like glycerin and propylene glycol are preferred because they increase contact time and soften the ear wax so ear drops are generally used for cleaning the ear or some having antibacterial action second is softening the wax third is for the treatment of mild infection okay so here is a example of ear drop formulation so we have to prepare sodium bicarbonate ear drop 100 ml ingredients are sodium bicarbonate 5 grams glycerin 30 ml purified water up to 100 ml so for the preparation of ear drop first of all we have to dissolve require amount or require quantity of sodium bicarbonate in purified water after completely dissolve of the sodium bicarbonate we will add glycerin and add more quantity of purified water to produce require volume of ear drop then the formulation is transferred into bottle label and dispense the label must contain the direction for use of ear drop place 2 to 3 drops in each ear as directed now container storage and labeling of ear drop so containers ear drops are dispensed in colored fluted glass bottles with a dropper in the cap ear drops are also dispensed in suitable plastic container next is labeling so the label should state for external use only and discontinue the use if irritation persist now the storage of ear drops so ear drops are supplied in well closed container in cool place okay so next monophasic liquid doses form that is nasal drops instilled into nasal cavity so nasal drops are the echo solution used for installation into nostril with the help of dropper so these are the water based solution which is instilled into the nose with the help of dropper the oily vehicle is not used nowadays because oily drops inhibit the movement of cilia in the nasal mucosa and if the oil vehicle based nasal drops are used for long periods they may reach the lungs and cause lipoid pneumonia nasal drops should be isotonic with 0.9% sodium chloride having neutral ph so for maintaining the ph phosphate buffer of ph 6.5 is used as vehicle because the buffering capacity of nasal mucosa is quite low and strong alkali solution can cause considerable damage to the cilia so for prevention of this damage it is advisable to use a phosphate buffer of ph 6.5 now the use of nasal drops so nasal drops are used as antibacterial agent or antibacterial action and 
second use of nasal drop is nasal decongestion now the example of nasal drop that is ephedrine nasal drop epc so ingredients are ephedrine 0.5 g chlorobutanol 0.5 g sodium chloride 0.5 g and water to make up the volume or produce the volume so for the preparation of ephedrine nasal drops first of all dissolve the ephedrine hydrochloride chlorobutanol and sodium chloride in warm water then cool the solution filter if necessary and make to volume with purified water and then transfer into the nasal drop container label and dispense the label must be contain direction place to to three drops in each nostril as directed now the storage conditions and labeling of nasal drops so the container of nasal drops should be colored fluted glass bottles and supplied with dropper next is labeling of nasal drops so the container should be labeled for external use only storage of nasal drops so nasal drops are supplied in well closed container in stored in cool place so the last monophasic liquid which is formed that is nasal spray so nasal sprays are aqueous solution or alcoholic preparation that are applied to the mucous membrane of nose by atomizer actually the main aim of nasal spray is to retain the nasal solution in the droplet form in the nasal tract for this purpose the nasal solution is is sprayed in the form of fine droplets by using scent spray type of atomizer which produce fine drops of solution both solutions and suspension formulation can be formulated into nasal spray but only fine drops are required so they may reach the lungs as nasal drops nasal spray should be isotonic and buffered at ph 6.5 for uh, achieve accurate or exact amount of drug delivery we can use metered pump or equator they can deliver the exact amount of drug into nasal cavity the range of drug can be 25 to 200 micron adrenaline and atropine sprays are example of nasal sprays which are available in market next is containers and storage condition of nasal spray so nasal sprays are stored in small colored fluted glass bottles and plastic squeeze bottles atomizers are suitable for the administration into nasal cavity now storage of nasal spray so nasal spray are supplied in well closed glass container stored in cool place thank you